The government is concerned that some unscrupulous business operators are taking advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic to flood the country with low-quality masks, sanitizers, and soap, which were posing fresh risks to Kenyans. Here's Betty Kiptub with that report. Illicit trade costs the Kenyan economy tens of billions of shillings annually. High demand for protective gear has seen unscrupulous business operators now ship in low-quality masks, sanitizers and soaps. Trade Chief Administrative Secretary Lawrence Karanja said that illicit goods not only endanger health but also denies the government revenue. Its contribution was even higher than the manufacturing, the contribution by the manufacturing sector. Therefore, this is a war we must fight. And we must fight it together. Some of the products which are being sold are pharmaceutical products. Other goods are substandard. They are food which are substandard and or whose quality cannot be guaranteed. They are for posing health challenges. Officials from the anti-counterfeit authority say the contraband increased economic waste in the country and similarly singled out agricultural inputs, electronics and foodstuffs noting that counterfeiters employ deceitful strategies to cover their illicit distribution trails. And being a hub of counterfeiters, it is affecting our industries. And even people who may want to set up industries here, they will be afraid, knowing that once they set up their uh, industries, counterfeiters will immediately come and start counterfeiting. Mutahi asked Kenyans not to be enticed by cheap prices, but mind their well-being by only buying quality products, even if they are costlier. Betty Kiptum, Channel 1 Business.